You need to take a shower? No, I'm good. Okay, I'm just talking to my girls as I do my makeup so that they can critique me and give me feedback and let me know what I need to improve upon. Right, ladies? You don't need to improve on a damn thing. <laughs> So today is Saturday, November 12th, and I suddenly decided that I'm gonna do a get ready with me for this event today. So it's currently 9 a.m. I need to throw on some real clothes. I need to go get a manicure and a pedicure. This morning, I also decided that I would do a YouTube live to answer um, one of your questions. So I need to hurry up and get back home. All right, guys, so I am back at home and I spent so much money in my opinion. By most people's opinion, probably not. So it's currently 11.55. Um, I have been fasting for 17 hours and 55 minutes. And the reason why I'm mentioning that is because I think I'm going to break my fast at noon, which would be like around, yeah, so that put me around 18 hours. Um, so the event, like um, the, the initial part is at five and then like the actual program starts at six. So Today, my window will probably be open from like 12 to eight, which would be an eight hour eating window. So again, this is kind of why I put myself in like the maintenance phase because I don't wanna focus on like, just making sure I get one meal a day and like all of that stuff. So like today will probably be an eight hour eating window and I feel okay with that. I'll probably eat something here before I get ready for the live and then also eat um, at the event. But to be honest, I do have a tendency that whenever I'm at, a, at an event, I talk a lot more than I eat. So we'll see. But I want to show you guys what I found. So I did find, I found um, a bag at Burlington and it was $9.99. And then I also found, let me just show you. So to match these shoes, because remember these are the shoes that I'm going to wear. I found... Um, it's not like super fancy, but I found this bag, which I thought will look cute with it. Um, so this bag was $9.99. And then I also purchased um, some hair gel. This is by Kiss, not gel, it's called um, Edge Fixer. So like I'm gonna use it like around here. A lot of times people ask me like, what do I use in my hair? And to be very transparent with you guys, I don't do anything to my hair, honestly. Um, sometimes I'll spray it with uh, rose, rosemary oil, ro rose hip oil. I'll show you later in the video. Sometimes I'll spray it, but for the most part, I, I do nothing. Like I just go to my stylist every eight weeks and then she does a retwist. I don't wash my hair. I don't use products in my hair. I just, I leave it be. So I bought the two of these from Burlington. And you guys remember I'm currently spending cash, so Usually I probably would have like walked around and found some more things, but no, but that's all I got. And I spent $13.96 there. And then from Marshall's, I went in there to look for another, um, like a bag and I didn't see anything that I liked. I saw a bag that I did like, I'll put it in here, but it really didn't match the shoes. So the only thing I got from Marshall's, this could be TMI, but most of my channel we, were girls. So I did have to get some more, um, they're not Spanx, what are they called? Like compression briefs or whatever, because I've lost some weight. I'm currently, I got a size large. I was looking for a medium, but they didn't have these in a medium. And I like the different colors here. So I got a large, my old ones were an extra large and they're no longer giving me like any compression like around the belly area. So I'm really hoping that these work. Um, those were $10.99. With tax, I spent $11. 1181 at Marshall's from Ross. You guys saw I'll put here like how everything is in a case. I don't know if people are like stealing things or if they're um, using them and then leaving them and like now the company or business can't sell them. But all of these products that I got, they were all in those little cases. Um, so I ended up spending 35.42 at Ross, and this is what I got. So I got these earrings, which I hope look nice. We'll see. I'll see if these look better or if these look better. And these were, I think $6.99. Um, $12. I thought they were $6.99. And I can't even tell because it doesn't show, but these are by Anne Klein. Um, yeah, I think they were $12, so it's okay, Felicia, stop tripping, they're $12, okay? 
And then I got this um, gel liner. It's by, is it Morph? I think that's the name of the company. I'll show you guys. I like to do my eyes. So I think I'm gonna try to put a little bit more um, work. I usually do like a five minute makeup routine everywhere I go for whatever thing. So I think I may spend 10 minutes today. <laughs> but this is like a gel liner. Um, and I wanted to try it like on the bottom lid and see how that looks. You guys, I really don't know what I'm doing. I'm not a makeup girl, so, but I wanna try something new. So this was $2.99, it was marked down on clearance. And then I got this um, Pacifica, it's just a, it's really a gloss, a cruelty-free vegan gloss, but it ha it's kind of tinted. Let's see, oh, I gotta put, yeah, so it's kind of tinted and I thought I would just kind of like add that to my collection because I don't really wear like lipsticks and stuff but I thought I would add that to the collection. And then I also found this brown um, brow shaper. So I'm gonna try this as well. Um, I saw while I was getting my nails and I was watching this video of like a quick makeup routine and I saw that they use like some of this on the top lid after using like, um, gosh, I didn't buy it. Oh man, yes I did. This was uh, $3.99 and it was also by Morph. So like after using um, a brow powder and then also like the liner and a black liner or whatever, I saw that they were kind of like using that pencil. Sorry, I dropped it to add some dimension. So we'll see how that works. Um, so this was $3.99. This is by, uh, oh, it's from Sephora, but I got it at Ross. And then this was also by Morph. It was $3.99. This is the um, brow powder. And yeah, so anyways, I spent a total of, as I mentioned, $35.42. So if someone wants to do the math for me, $35.42 plus $11.81 plus $13.96. That's how much I spent today. Oh, and $96 for going to get my nails and my toes. So let me show you my toes. They're so much more clean now and they look nice. So happy for that. So yeah, there's definitely a lot involved when you decide to go outside, but I try to do as much as I can on a budget and still have a good time. And I also, I didn't purchase like a dressy watch. Honestly, you guys, I know my sports watch, my Garmin does not match. I know it does not match the occasion, but guess what? I'm gonna wear it anyways, because I wanna know how many steps I get tonight while I'm dancing. So I know it doesn't match, but we're gonna do it anyways. And yeah, as I mentioned right now, there I have so much stuff to do. Um, I think I was also supposed to go to the grocery store, but I think I'm just gonna order all of that and have the groceries delivered today and just have to, and have to tip someone and pay the service fees and Instacart, but I just don't have enough time. So I'm going to go ahead and eat, and then that'll give me about 30 minutes to prepare for today's live video, do today's live video. And then, so I don't know if many people, if you follow me on Instagram, then you already know this, but a lot of people tend to think that I'm very extrovert, but I'm not, I, I am such an introvert, like, yeah. So a lot of times, like, I just don't go places because um, not that I don't like being around a lot of people, but it really, it takes a lot. It really does. Where was I going with this? So basically, um, I plan in my schedule to take a nap at two o'clock so that I will be, I have the energy because honestly, like when I go places, like it's no one's fault. It's just me. And it's not a, I don't even look at it as a bad thing, but I like to take a nap ahead of time so that I can kind of rejuvenate a little bit and then I'm able to be fully present and to be the person that I wanna show up as when I go to different events. So yeah, I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. My plan is to start getting dressed at four o'clock because I am doing some different things as far as makeup goes. And if it doesn't look good, I'm just gonna wash my face and try to redo it, but we'll, we'll see. Right now, my husband is currently, him and the boys are at the movie theater. So hopefully they'll stay there and maybe go get food or something through the live video so that that way we're not sharing Wi-Fi because our Wi-Fi is crap and sometimes the streaming is kind of horrible. But yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and break my fast at 18 hours and get some food. 12.07, I thought I'd show you guys what I'll eat. So I always have food prepared. Like I'm actually gonna do a video on this to maybe help some people out. So I'm gonna finish off this broccoli and then I 
I'm also gonna have some salmon and watermelon. All right, guys, it's currently 3.59, and I am about to take a shower. Well, take a bath, actually. So I never fell asleep. Like, after I did the live video, I just could not go to sleep. So by the way, if you haven't seen that live video yet, where I talked about, oh, sorry. That's my alarm going off. Um, if you haven't seen the live video yet where I answered a, view of a viewer's question, one of your questions about what type of exercise you should do, then I'll link that up here. I would love for you guys to check that out. But yeah, so I'm about to take a shower and then start getting dressed. All right, guys, so here we go. To be quite honest, I am a little nervous in doing this because I am not a makeup girl. So I just wanted to get dressed with you guys. It's currently 4.32. So I just wanted to take my time and figure out like a makeup look that I'm comfortable with um, for today. I'm currently wearing an older robe because I'm a little messy. Um, I don't really own a lot of makeup. Like this is what I take like for traveling. Um, I toss this in my bag. And then this is just like backup stuff I have at home. And as far as um, eyeshadow palettes, I have this one with these colors. There's a lot of light, I wonder. I have these. I also have this one, which I think is plenty. You can see there's a lot that I don't even use. So, so far I've already like taken a bath and moisturized. I use um, organic coconut oil with a combination of Jergens lotion. I like to get my body all nice so it's not dry and crusty. And then what else did I do? Oh. So this is the deodorant that I love, the Tom's um, Coconut Lavender. And, oh, and I also brush my teeth, so I don't have to worry about that. But yeah, so first thing I need to do is find foundation. And I'm sure there's probably stuff you put on before foundation, but foundation is the first thing that I'm gonna be doing today. So I have this, um, it's not even a foundation, it's a, my battery's dying, how dare it. Um, so this is like a coverage cream. Let me change the battery. All right, so we're back. So I have this and then the other thing I have is this thing I showed you guys before, um, this tint. So I guess I really don't have any foundation. I used to use um, something by Bare Minerals, but I couldn't find it like in that color anymore. So by Bare Minerals, why do I even have that still? Um, and then I went to this one by Bare Minerals, which I really loved, but I broke the lid. Let's see if we can get some of this because the coverage is a little bit better with this one, I think. We'll see. And this is Bare Minerals Pro. Let's see if we can get some of that out of there. It looks all dried up and crusty. See, already a mess. Um, but you guys, so we're going to the Kinsieta tonight and if this opens up, I'm so sorry. Oh, and also those briefs that I purchased, like to give myself a little bit more, to suck my belly in a little bit more. Well, those were too big. So I ended up pulling out an old pair that I had and I'm just gonna wear the older pair. Um, This is so crusty. I wish I had something to pour it in. Okay, we're just gonna try this. Um, What I wanted to talk to you guys about is I was thinking today, I'm like, okay, Felicia, like, do you want to, you know, eventually like establish a makeup routine? Because while I was getting my pedicure and manicure, I was like looking at different YouTube videos. Um, and I was thinking to myself, gosh, girl, you're 41. Like it may be time to figure out like a makeup routine so that whenever you're, oh, <laughs> no, it's a negative. It's a no, okay. So that maybe like every time you get ready to go out, like you have a look that you can put together quickly and um, you know, like not have to worry. <sighs> to be honest with you guys, I think like while all of my friends or people I know or women my age was like playing in makeup, cause I think that's what you need to do. Like I taught my daughter to do that and she's pretty good with makeup. But I think while most people my age was playing in makeup, like, Number one, in high school, my mom was not having it. Where were you gonna wear makeup at? Nowhere. So I didn't wear makeup, um, only for like extreme special occasions. And I'm not talking about like a dance, maybe a dance qualified, but almost like not really. Um, so in my 20s, like I became a mom, I was married at age 20 and 
I was a mom at 21. So I was trying to finish school and raise kids. So I really, makeup just was not a priority and I really wasn't going anywhere. Like my lifestyle really didn't like support me having to learn how to do makeup. You know what I mean? I feel like I have a lot on my face right now. <laughs> so now I gotta spend minutes like trying to get all of this um, into my skin. I don't care if you guys laugh. You can like put laughing emojis down in the comment section. It doesn't bother me because I know, I am fully aware that I don't know what I'm doing. And this foundation, because it is, um, it's November now, so all summer, you guys have seen the videos, I've been outside like all summer. So this foundation doesn't even, it's not even the right shade at all, but it's what I have. So I'm gonna go with it. So as I was saying, yes, I just really never learned how to do a proper makeup routine, like not for work, not for formal events or anything. So I think that at some point, I'm not promising, but maybe sometime in 2023, I'll learn how to do makeup. Um, I have a cousin that is like phenomenal. Her name's Moni. Her dad and my dad are brothers and I should just like have her come over or even have her mom come over and just have them teach me. Like maybe I could just pay money to teach me how to do my makeup. I don't know, I'll figure it out. She doesn't live here. She's doing big girl stuff in Tallahassee, but she'll probably teach me if I ask her. Okay, and another thing too is that um, you guys saw I've probably seen videos here on the channel where I talked about my debt free journey. So as I was paying off debt, like for me, and you know, we all have different values as far as the way we spend our money. And for me, makeup has just always been one of those things where I didn't see the worth in it. Like I didn't feel like it was worth it. I mean, it does help like growing up in church and growing up around family that tells you that you're cute. <laughs> so you don't really feel the need to put on makeup or anything, you know? But what I've learned is like makeup is like for you. Like I feel so much better when I'm dressed stressed and I at least put on a little bit of makeup. It just makes me feel better. Um, so yeah, I don't think makeup is something that you do for other people. It's just something you do for yourself to just give you a little added, little added input. All right guys, I'm gonna work this in a little bit and then we'll talk some more, so. Okay, so I went looking for my concealer and I can't find it. And I only use it like when I'm going out, like to dress up or something. And I haven't been using it, so I'm wondering if my daughter like spiked it because she knows I don't use it or if it just dried up. But in the process, I also found this um, by Revlon and it's a little bit darker. So I think I'm just gonna add a little bit of this on top because this makeup is way too light for me and same thing i don't know what it is about the caps i just don't get them off right yeah i almost wish i would have put this on first like a little tempted to wash my face and just only put this one on but i don't have time for all of that i'm using a lot of makeup guys i'm gonna like get some of this off for sure because i'm wearing a white dress and i don't want to stain my dress so i'm sure i'll be blotting some of this off there's so much that goes into like getting dressed for events sometimes like just getting dressed, I'd be like, whoo, that wore me out. Like, I just wanna crawl back in bed. <laughs> like, I would love to be one of the girls that enjoys like the whole process of getting dressed to go out, which is part of the reason why I'm starting early, you know, so that I don't feel rushed through the whole process, but I'm not there yet where I like totally just enjoy all of it. Okay, I tried to blend that a little bit better. So now from here, I don't have like a set way in which I do stuff. I just start grabbing things. And if you, again, if you wanna leave me some feedback in the comment section, like what order I should be doing things or any of that stuff, I'm okay with it. Like my feelings don't get hurt easily, um, particularly when I just don't know what I'm doing. Like I'm always willing to learn, so. Um, this, I have not used this in like forever in a day. It's probably old and expired, but it's an eyeshadow primer. So I'm just putting like a little bit here and <laughs> I got it all in my lashes. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm assuming eyeshadow primer means like it just goes over the eyelid. Like where are you gonna put your eyeshadow? I'm assuming, which I don't normally use this either because 
Sometimes I just put like one color of eyeshadow. <laughs> it just be in and out like in no time. So let me put this on. Oh my gosh, I got stuff all over here. Lord help me. Now, is that supposed to dry first before you go on? Primer, like with paint, don't you like let the primer kind of dry a little bit first? So next, I think I'm going to do my brows. Um, I don't get, I don't go to get my brows done. Let me tell you guys something. So I believe that for me, this is for me, not for everyone. But I believe that the more I do, like as far as beauty stuff goes, like the more I have to keep up and then it gets to be expensive. <laughs> so I'm just going to brush my brows and that like that gets to be expensive and then like once you start seeing yourself a certain way, in my opinion, once I start seeing myself a certain way, then I feel like I'm not like I'm not complete if it's if I don't look that way every day. So for me, I just keep everything simple so that when I finally do like get dressed up or whatever, then people are like, oh my God, you look so great. Cause I look regular every other day. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know. So I know like black eyeliner is like so um, 80s. This is like way over here, but I still kind of like it. Oh, I was gonna do that one. I was gonna try this like on the bottom lid. I don't even know what do I use. I don't know which brush you use for what. Oh boy. Oh, that is pretty. Oh my gosh. So I think I'm gonna put that on the bottom lid, but maybe I should do that last. Okay. All right. Let's let's try to do some eyeshadow first. So what I'm going to do is first use this brow powder up top, like as the first little thing on top of this. Um, oh, I guess I should be looking here, huh? I'm gonna put this on top. Oh my gosh, how do people do this? Like, how do you look in the camera and do your makeup? Oh my gosh, that takes a skill. <laughs> I am so messy. I'm pretty sure this should be a lot more neat, but I'm just getting it on. I think I just heard my husband come in here. I don't know if he has to take a shower. If he has to take a shower, then girls, we're gonna have to like come back to this. You need to take a shower? No, I'm good. Okay, I'm just talking to my girls as I do my makeup so that they can critique me and give me feedback and let me know what I need to improve upon. Right, ladies? Not or guys. You don't need to improve on a damn thing. <laughs> you guys hear my husband. See, I told you I just look basic every day and then when we put on makeup, it's like, ah. <laughs> he said, I don't need to improve anything. I'm so sweet. Okay, so I don't know which one to use. So the dress is like white and gold or white and, you know, it's like white and silver or white and gold. It has both the gold and the silver in it. You can kind of like pick up on whichever one you want to. So what I think I'm gonna do is try to pick up the browns. So what do you guys think about like doing three colors maybe? Like go from here to here to here? I don't know, I'm gonna try that and then we'll see how it looks. So let's go. Oh, oh that's dark, dark. Okay, let's go here, see that? And then I know you're supposed to like layer this stuff but I don't know exactly how, so. We're just playing and practicing tonight, okay? All right, so I feel like that needs to be blended. Let's use this brush to kind of blend that. All right, got that all blended. So one thing I think I know is that with the dark, you're not supposed to go all the way in with the dark, I think. I think I saw that somewhere or heard that somewhere. I could be wrong. All right. I, I, okay, so see, this is where we are so far. Can you see? <laughs> okay, so next let's go in with, I think these have numbers or colors or something on them, but I'm not like a makeup guru, so that's not the focus of what we're doing here. The focus is just watching a basic girl that's lost like 40 pounds do her makeup. So I thought we would use this color, but I think I'm going to go a little bit lighter and go here. I don't know if that's what I said the first time or not. Um, so with that, I'm going to go on top 
Oh, I got the wrong brush. Oh, jeez, Felicia. Okay, so we're gonna go on top here. Okay, and then we're gonna blend those. So, I don't know, I think I forgot my train of thought, but I was gonna tell you guys about how before, like I never thought that um, makeup was something that was like worth spending money on. But as I've gotten older, and I think now that, you know, I don't have the credit card debt, student loans and all of that stuff, I think I'm at a point now where I would feel comfortable using some discretionary income um, to buy makeup and like, figure out what I'm doing sometime next year. Okay, I also don't wear lashes either. Um, whenever I try to wear lashes, like when I go places and have them do my makeup, it just always feels like something is in my eye. And I don't know if it's because I have very large eyes, like I just feel like something's just always in my eyes. I don't like that feeling. So I'm just gonna do the other side. So I tend to not, oh, I think I'm supposed to go up higher, right guys? Higher with the lighter one? I don't know. Let's go up higher. Ooh, that's a little too high. I uh, will blend it. Yeah, but with the eyelashes, I just feel, feel like there's always something in my eye. So the entire time I'm wearing them, it's just like something sitting on my eyelid and I get so, I'm constantly touching my face, touching my eyelid. It's not a vibe, so. That's why I really don't wear eyelashes. I think they're beautiful though. Like when I see them on other women, I'm like, oh my gosh. I saw a lady today at the nail place and I had to tell her, oh my gosh, your, your lashes look so good. I was like, do you have an event? She actually has a house for me. Um, yeah, but her lashes look so good. Okay guys, so this is what we have. I'm sure this does not look like because the King's Theater is kind of like a wedding. I'm sure this does not look like wedding makeup to most of you, but for me, it's a lot. So this is where we are. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is go in and let's try the black one first on top. Okay, I cannot do it in the, I gotta use the mirror. So let's go black on top. Oh my gosh, I'm shaking. I promise I don't have Parkinson's, but it just really looks like I do the way I'm shaking. Um, uh oh, I probably just smashed all of those palettes. Babe, put your um, earplugs in so I don't get demonetized, please. He was just listening to a video and YouTube is so picky about, I mean, which they should be, right? It's other people's material. So they should be picky about it. Oh my gosh, you guys. This is such a mess. <laughs> okay, we're just gonna blend that out. See if we can just make it smooth, right? Make it smooth. And then I also wanted to use this brown on top of that. I don't know how that's gonna look, but we're gonna try. So. <laughs> Babe, stop laughing. <laughs> I'm really trying. I feel like I almost need some lashes to like cover up this mess. Okay, this is not working. Actually, this thing hurts too. I'm probably not even using it right. What's on the other side? Oh, guys, this is for this. <laughs> I was trying to use it on my lid. No wonder this thing hurts so bad. Okay. <laughs> Okay, that was no bueno. Okay, let's try. Ouch, no wonder it hurts so bad. Let's see what this looks like. I don't even wanna know. It says gel liner, okay. So my goal is to get this under my eyelid. I mean under my, like right here. Let's see. Oh, let me do a black first. So I know black is like 80s or whatever, but we're gonna go in with a black eyeliner first and then we'll go in with that one. Oh my gosh, it looks like one of my boys like colored on my face. <laughs> what, how did I, can you, seriously, see and I'm even taking my time. Man, this is why 
I'm telling you guys, makeup, women that wear makeup, it is for them. Guys, I hate to break it to you, but nobody's doing all of this for y'all. This is work. We're well aware. <laughs> ah, this is work. Oh my gosh. Oh my, see I do. No, you're not putting that on folks. My husband doesn't even like when I wear makeup, but he doesn't like it at all. Ooh, I like that. I don't know how it looks for real, but. Uh, guys, I know I got pink eye. Oh, okay. Let's see if I can just smooth all of this out now. All right, so now I'm just going to smooth all of this out and then, oh, I also wanted to do my brows. Well, let's try to smooth everything first. Smooth it all out, just smooth it. I don't know, I feel like it looks ashy. <laughs> what is all of that? Like I still need to do my brows, so I'll fix that. But I think I'm gonna go back in with the black liner to add like a little bit of dimension there because I do have large eyes. And then I need to put on some um, mascara and just kind of fill my brows in a little bit. Give me a sec. So I don't have much of a brow, which is why I don't get them um, like arch or tweak this often because there's just hardly anything there. I thought about getting like permanent ones so that I can just wake up looking like, wow, every day. I still may do that. Maybe we'll do that for 2023. If you have permanent brows and you feel like they're so worth it, please let me know down in the comment section below. Yeah, so it's not as bad, like in real life as I'm looking at it. It's not horrible. But I think I do want to do a little bit more of the black eyeliner. I also want to just brush. See, I just feel like I have so much stuff on my face. I'm just going to do a little bit of um, mascara. Then I think we're done. So usually if I was going somewhere, like this would have been done a long time ago. But I think filming, it takes a little bit longer. And also I was trying new things. Okay, now I typically open my eyes way too early and I ruin the mascara. So we're just gonna sit here for a little bit. Oh, also I was wondering if you guys had a chance to see the dress video, like um, when I was trying on dresses last year versus when I was trying on dresses this year. That was a fun video for me to like um, edit because I was able to see like all of my progress and everything. So that was really fun. And then it also kind of motivates me to like to continue the journey because I'm interested to see like where I'll be, you know, this time next year, as long as I continue with great healthy habits and I continue on this 100 pound weight loss journey. I'm really excited about that. Um, okay, let's open the eye. All right, so we'll do the other side. A little bit more, because my real lashes are not, they're not that thick. So let's try this. And then for my lips, I actually found this one that I wore before. It has a little sparkle in it, but it's so old. Um, I'm gonna see what it looks like and see if it's like still, you know, good to go. It looks kind of crusty to be honest with you guys. I probably should go through my makeup and like, no, I don't want to replace anything. And that sounded like dollar signs. The minute I was about to say it. Some of the stuff I probably do need to go through and like throw out what's old, what's truly old. Okay, let's open. All right, so all under here is so messed up, but just taking my finger. There we go. Nice, clean, somewhat clean swipe. And then on this side, clean swipe. Okay. And then, ooh, this is, okay, this is done. Oh, 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 that's what that looked like. Oh, that's pretty. Maybe this one first, and then put a little bit more of that back on top, so. 
Babe, what time is it? Five ten. Okay, it's 5.10. So after I do this, the only thing I have to do is like put on my dress because I have on undergarments and put on my shoes. Oh, I need to switch out my earrings. Let's do that. I would call my husband in and like ask him how it looks, but if I do, he'll just be like, he'll start laughing at me or something like to make me want to take it off because he doesn't like makeup anyway. So we're not going to call him because we don't need any of his. You look so amazing. <laughs> See, naturally, like without the makeup. So let's switch these out. So these earrings don't have a back on them. They don't have a back. And also once I put on, my goal is that once I put on the dress and once I like bring my hair down, then the makeup, like my face is not the focus anyways, right? Like the dress hopefully is the focus. But I am gonna clean these brows up just a little bit. Okay guys, so I know I said I was gonna do more, but I actually did less and like took off some of the makeup. Um, so for my hair, I'm not spraying my hair today, but I did tell you guys I'll show you what I use on my hair, so let me show you that. Okay, so this is the only product I use on my hair. It is rose petals, rose water. Um, so I use that, and then today I'm gonna try this just to put around my edges, and then I'll probably pull like a few pieces back. Okay, so my dress is by DKNY. It was $139.99 at Dillard's. And then I know my watch does not match, but it's going to tonight. And then this is a bag that I got from Burlington. And I'm just throwing this inside and my phone. And I know I should probably take like something to touch up my makeup. Um, but I think I'll take the brush inside of a Ziploc bag and then some chapstick or some lip gloss because I'm not really doing a whole lip again. See, it looks better to me like without... I just took off some layers of just brushed off some stuff looks more subtle and i like that all right guys so basically this is my look for tonight we're gonna have our kids take some pictures of us and video outside and then oh my husband's shaking his head no he looks so good i want you guys to see how good he looks if i can sneak a picture of it tonight then i'll show you that okay like <laughs> poor ramsey this is cool you got the video? Oh, uh, yeah. It's... Okay. Thank you. you got... All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you had as many laughs as I did. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.